Hi, Johnny Timmons, Marine Max Yachts in Seabrook, Texas. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough on a new listing we've got today. It's a 2019 Sea Ray L550. One of the things to note of this, about this boat, this is the last 550 to leave the Sea Ray factory. Since it left the Sea Ray factory, it's been with one owner and it's been here in Seabrook undercover her entire life. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough, show you a couple of the features. So if you'll just hang with me, I'll walk through the boat and get you familiar with her. I'm gonna start right here in the trunk storage, right off the transom of the boat. I've got a bunch of things in there right now. I've got covers, I got the windshield, I got life jackets, fenders, dock lines. It's actually about waist deep down inside there. And it goes from port to starboard. So you can really pack a lot of things for traveling down in there. Hydraulic swim platform underneath my feet right here. Where's our two chutes? We've never had a tender on this boat for, to date. This one also has the staircase that's gonna pop out as that swim platform extends down into the water. I'm gonna work back up because I actually deployed the sure shade. This boat has the sure shade option that comes back and look how far it covers. The back seat ends right here. And I've got another two feet of shade that's gonna come back when the sure shade's deployed. So follow me and I'm gonna step up the teak cockpit. I've got a little bit of the mood lighting set up right here. I got the blue lights that are on. In the back of the boat, I've got the wet bar option with the barbecue pit and grill. I'm gonna pop that up real quick. You can see it. We've got a nice teak table. We keep this covered. Covers back in that garage area and the storage area, but a nice teak table. We have a full teak cockpit back here. Engine room access is gonna be right here. I'm gonna work this way. Port and starboard uh, boarding ladders or boarding doors. That way if we pull up, lay up to a bulkhead, I'm just gonna pop that out. We can get in and off the boat from right here. We've got a remote for our stereo that's right here. One of the neatest features about the L550 is gonna be your access inside the salon of the boat. Big, heavy doors, American made. I'm gonna latch this in place. And now we've got this full access inside the salon of the boat. Now that we're in the salon of the boat, I'm gonna kind of walk you through briefly. Uh, inside the salon, show you a couple of the options that we selected when we built the boat. We're gonna have, throughout, you're gonna have the, the high gloss dark interior all the way throughout. You're gonna have the solid surface countertops. We, did the, we, we chose the stone option, and then we accented it with the uh, stone colored and light gray uh, ultra leather interior throughout the boat. We did the gray wood floors. We did the, uh, the, the embossed pebble on the backside here. We can flip these over on both sides, and it's a nice gray suede. Our TV, our 32 inch TV is gonna pop up right here. It's on a remote control, it's on an actuator. We've got all of our storage right here. I'm gonna open this one up real quick, and now you're gonna see the AV entertainment system, Bose soundbar, direct TV, your Samsung Blu-ray. This will be the head unit for the stereo, and a couple of Wi-Fi boxes on board down below. I'm gonna work back. Now you're gonna see our track vision remote right here. And this is gonna be all of our glass, bottle storage, and then all for all of our, uh, our flatware and plates and whatnot. We've got them stowed uh, at the owner's house. They will be coming with the boat. And then lastly, one of the most important features on this boat is we've got wine storage. We've got an isotherm wine storage that's built in right here. You can control your temperature up or down right here, depending on what we wanna do, red or white. This is gonna be our main AC-DC panel, all the operations and systems, just like you've seen on every other Sea Ray gonna be right here. Working uh, back to the port side, I'm gonna flip these little catches up. So how this system is set up, you've got two sets of freezers, two sets of fridges. They're the drawer style, I'm gonna pull them back in, lock them in place. Microwave's gonna be right here. Slide that in. Now we're at the helm of this L550, powered by twin cat C18s. Uh, we've got twin 16 inch Raymarine displays right here. You've got your chart plotter, you've got your 4K to open, open array radar. And then we've got our cat display right here. Raymarine depth here, Raymarine autopilot here, ACR spotlights right here. 
and obviously our VHFs right here. This boat is equipped with AIS transponding and receiving. And then furthermore, we can come over here and we can kind of go through some of the other systems and options that are on here. We do have this boat set up with the switch panel, so you can actually go through and see an overview of everything that's on the Sea Ray and all the systems monitor. One custom option that we added to the adventure, we added the addition of a yacht controller. What this is going to do is it allows us to operate our bow thruster, our stern thruster, and both of our main gears. Anywhere within 100 feet, maybe 200 feet of the boat, even if you're not on it, you'll be able to have full control of the vessel. Uh, and you can walk for the bow, the swim platform, inside the salon. Theoretically, you could actually run the boat from the master stateroom if you wanted to. But this yacht controller does go with the boat, and it's great for a single-handed operation in and out of the slip. On the twin helm chairs, we've got twin Sea Ray Stid helm chairs that are right here. Got footrest. I can rotate these inside and outside. I can spin them around if we want to. I'm gonna work this way. This boat's also powered with the joystick system. So this will control not only the bow and the stern thruster, but also both main gears as well. And we can drive the boat sideways, we can spin it, we can run the boat just like a pod boat. However, this is a straight shaft boat with bow and stern thrusters. Last thing I'm gonna show you is when you're docking, this is such a great feature just to be able to drop this little step down. And then I'm gonna step up on top of it and it just gives you that much more view when you're running the boat in a docking situation to get you up just a little bit higher. One thing that I wanted to, to bring your attention, this boat is the L550 non-fly, so we do have this full opening and closing hardtop. We just opened it for you right there, that way you can see how big and expansive it is. But it's really a nice feature to open this boat up on those nice calm days in the, in the fall and the early spring before it gets too hot. it's Johnny again. Now we're up at the bow of the boat on Adventure, that L550 Sea Ray that we started on. A couple things I wanted to show you that we have on the boat. This boat has the mezzanine seating option. Sun pad forward. We can actually raise this up and make a, a, a nice little cocktail table out of it. One of the neater options that we added on this boat is you're going to see these clamshells that are right here. I'm going to pop that open, slide it out. I've actually got four stainless posts that are gonna slide in right here. And now we've got a nice vented sail that attaches. It's up and down in five minutes. We store it in the back of the boat in that storage area when uh, we're running the boat. But when you get anchored up at the sandbar, the island, whatnot, it's a great option to put out. It lets you use this zone just like you would use the cockpit and still have a little bit of shade. A Couple of the other nice options that are up here in this bow area. I've got a remote for the stereo that's right here. I've got a lighting option where I can turn the lights on or off. We've got our spotlight up here at the bow of the boat. And then furthermore, we went ahead and upgraded this boat and added a stainless delta anchor rather than the galvanized. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of the things that we've got going up on the uh, hard top of the boat. So if you'll look back, you're gonna see a 4KW open array HD radar. All the way up on top of that mast, next to the light, you're gonna see your FLIR thermal camera. Next to that, you're gonna have a normal vision camera. I'm gonna work down and you've got a short antenna right in front of that HD7. That's gonna be our Wi-Fi booster antenna that we added to the boat. To port and starboard, you're gonna have a VHF antenna. And the other one is gonna be our hidden AIS transponding and receiver antenna. The two track vision domes, one's gonna operate our satellite TV. The other one's gonna be a dummy dome that we've got some other antennas hidden up inside. That way it's a nice clean yachty look. Hey guys, it's Johnny again. We're in the master stateroom of DaVenture, that L550. Just gonna show you a couple things. Again, the high gloss dark interior in here, the plush carpet. We've actually changed the mattress out on this boat. This is actually a, a custom made mattress for us. Uh, it was made here locally. The light gray accents on the walls, and I'll work around here a little bit forward. We do have some storage up underneath the bed. I believe there is a subwoofer underneath there as well. Uh, you can you can tell that the the AV systems all set up through Sea Ray. You've got a master remote, it operates all the systems on the boat. We've got two stand up closets here. Our Bose surround, Bluetooth stereos right here. This is gonna be our washer and dryer option. One of the nice features on this washer dryer option, it's not a combo unit. We've got a full washer, we've got a full dryer. If you've ever used those combo units, it's good for one sock and a hand towel. These are actually real, just like you would have in an apartment somewhere and they work and they work really well if you're traveling on the boat. Lastly, we got our full link closet that's in here as well. Notice all the closets are cedar lined. So master stateroom head, we'll slide right in here. You're gonna notice it's gonna have mosaic tiles on the wall. We're gonna have our hard tile floors as well. 
and then a full glass entry with mosaic and a teak grade inside the shower stall. So you'll notice all the way throughout the boat, we've got these custom door handles from Moet all the way throughout. Really a nice touch, classes the boat up. Just a nice way to accent the yacht. Welcome to the VIP stateroom inside the yacht. You'll notice it's an island queen. We've got plenty of room to walk around. We've got access to the head. We've got a full head closet to the starboard side. Nice lighting. You've got access right here if we want to open up the Bomar hatch. Just a really, really nice, big, roomy, comfortable VIP stateroom for your guests. We're in the guest head on the boat. Again, we did the uh, mosaic tile on the backsplashes, hard tile on the floors, the teak grade. Really turned out nice. Now we're in the guest stateroom, the third stateroom on the yacht. The way it's set up right now, we've got the twin singles. However, these do slide together. We'll make a, a full. That way you actually do have uh, staterooms for three full couples on the boat. Now we're in the engine room. I'm, I've got my arms resting on both these Caterpillar engines. One of the things I wanted to show you while we're here in the engine room is how clean it is, how dry it is. There's no rust. Everything looks as it should. There's no corrosion. There's no standing water. This is what an impeccably clean yacht should look like down in the engine room. Everything's perfect. This boat's gonna fly through survey. I'm really excited for the owner to decide to make a move on her. Again, thanks so much for taking your time to walk through this L550, the adventure. If you have any questions, please give me a call. My name is Johnny Timmons at Marine Max Yachts in Houston, Texas, 281-830-6336. Y'all have a great day.